Hi, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install double sliding barn doors. Now keep in mind, there are a lot of companies out there that make their own barn doors and they each have their own installation instructions. So this video is specific to the types of doors that I make. Now, if you've received one of my doors, then I've made that door specifically for you. And they all install relatively the same way. Because this is a double sliding barn door, that means that we are going to find the center of our opening and the doors will meet at that point. Now for this video, our opening is designed more for a single door, but I think you'll get the idea. Ready to go? Let's do it. Okay, as I mentioned, for this video, I'm gonna be using a single door opening. If it was a wider door opening, it would probably be four to five feet wide. Now, what are the things I want to explain to you? Like all walls, for the most part, are made the same if you're inside a residential area. Typically, you're going to have wood studs. You might have block walls if you're over on the East Coast. If you're in a commercial building, they may use steel studs. But the layout is somewhat the same. For this video, we're going to use a typical situation in a residential home where there are wood studs. So if you look at your wall, the layer that is on top and what you typically see is the drywall. Underneath here are the wood studs. Now I'm going to take this drywall off so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see this is now down to the studs. This is a typical construction inside a residential home where you're going to have two two by fours running on each side of that door opening. All right. You're also going to have two two by fours, possibly a couple of two by sixes running up top. Now this is what's known as the header. When I speak to you about installing your track in the header, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm talking about going into this double stack of wood here that is typically over your door opening. Now, if you're lucky enough to be in a remodel or you're building this wall fresh, the perfect scenario is to have this header extend all the way out on both sides if you're doing a double sliding barn door because then you don't have to worry about finding the studs where you put the track in. Now the doors that I'm going to be hanging are going to a client that is in the process of building the wall. That means they have the luxury of putting in blocks and carrying on that header. I'm going to go ahead and do that to this wall so you can see what I'm talking about. Poof! Look at that. Through the magic of video. Now I've been able to extend my header all the way from one side to the other just by putting in extra blocks. Now, I don't have to worry about where my studs are when I put up my track. Makes it that much more simple. Okay, so here we are. We're back to square one. We have our drywall on. We know that our studs are behind there. You and I know that we've actually got header blocking going from left to the right the entire distance. But again, for those of you who do not have the capability of taking off your drywall, or you're not building a wall, and you have to go with something that's existing, run to your local hardware store. And if you don't already have one, buy yourself a stud finder. All right, for probably about five to 10 bucks, you can find yourself a stud finder. What it is, it's a little device that you run along the wall. And as it finds where that stud is, it will beep and light. And you can find out exactly where those studs are. Now, typically inside a residential home, studs are on every 16 inches. So when you look at a tape measure, and I'll get this a little closer, Starting at the end, and you go over to 16 inches, there's a little red square. Now every 16 inches, there will be a mark. And that's designed so when people are building homes and are building out those walls, you know exactly where to put those studs. Now on occasions, they'll go every 24 inches. That's why it's important to have a stud finder. When you put these tracks, onto the wall, you want to make sure that that lag bolt that I give you goes through the track, through the spacers, and into a stud. 
If it goes just into the drywall, it's going to rip that wall right apart. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to start to measure and put up our track. You want to find center of your opening. Marking from the inside of your wall to the outside of your wall, here I have 37 inches. All right. So I want to be able to mark half of 37 inches. So I want to be able to mark 18 and a half inches. So I want to make sure that that is square. And I'm going to draw a line. And that's my center. Everything we do at this point from here on out will go based on this center. Now we want to measure from the floor and up. So we'll have a height at which we are going to put our track. Okay, so in order to get the height of your track, you want to measure the height of your door and add two inches. Our door is 80 inches tall. Now I want to add two inches to that, which brings me to 82. Eighty-two is the height at which my lag bolts will go into the wall and attach my track. So now we want to put our first pilot holes in for our sections of track. Because we're doing a double sliding door, you're going to receive two sections of track one that handles the left door and one that handles the right door. From this center line, you want to measure over one and a half inches. And the same thing here, one and a half inches. These lines on the outside of the center line are going to be where you make your first marks. So go up two inches. Here and here are the starting points of each one of your tracks for each one of your doors. I'm going to get a drill and put a pilot hole here and we're going to get the first sets of track hung. Okay, so with the lag and the spacers in place, this is your stop. Place that lag in your pilot hole. You'll need a 9 16 socket. And as you tighten this down, you don't want to go completely tight because you still want to be able to pull your track up and put a level on it. So that's what it should look like at this point. Your track is now hanging vertical on the very first lag point. This is your door stop. So when this comes up, it's going to sit like this. Now what we want to do is we want to put the remaining lags into this track so that it will be secure. So next what you want to do is you actually want to level this track. Now, I have a four foot level here, but any level will do. You want to make sure that the little bubble sits right in the middle. 
Now in your kit, I gave you a little dowel that has a point on it. You want to stick it right through that little hole and give it a push. Same thing here, give it a push. All the way down until you've marked your wall. Now you've got holes exactly where you need to be able to put your lags. So now you want to drill those out. Oops. Again, take your track, put in a lag, put in a spacer, and repeat that for the rest of your holes. Okay, so for the second side, this is actually a little bit easier. Basically, you wanna just butt it right up against the first track that you put on. You're gonna put your hole right where you measured it the first time, but if it's off, don't worry about it because as long as this is butted up against the other track that you just installed, you're good. Make sure that you level this track also. Once this track is level, take the little punch that I gave you, Make sure it's square in the hole and set yourself holes that you can work with. Add your lags, your spacers, and tighten down. You're almost ready to put the doors on. The exciting part. So your track is now installed on the wall. The lags have gone into the studs in the wall so you know that it's nice and secure. Now it's time to hang the doors. You should receive your doors with the hangers already on. Now those are the pieces that actually have the wheels attached to them. To put your doors onto the track, you want to stand out, oh, probably about eight inches, maybe 10 inches, lift them up slightly and lean them towards the track so you have a bit of an incline. Lift and drop onto the track and then they should sit back and forth and then test that they roll smoothly alongside your track to make sure that there isn't any interference. Now your doors I'll test here in the shop to make sure that I don't have any problems when I install them on the track so that I know when you get them everything should be fine. The next thing I need to do is actually install the door guide because right now they can swing back and forth. So to install the door guide you'll take the hardware that I've given you and you're going to install that against the wall so that the door has something to ride within. Let's take a look at that. So with your door flush with the inside of the door opening you want to take the bag that's marked door guide and you want to pull out the door guide that comes in your package. This door guide is going to sit right within an inch of the edge of your door. Now push your door back so that you can get to the screws. Now you may need to undo your door stop in order to do that. 
Now I've pre-drilled these holes. But once you have your door guide on, bring your door back into place, reinstall your door stops, and now your door will not be able to swing out Okay, now you've installed your double sliding doors on the track. So let's go over this one more time. Measure center above your opening and mark from your center out two and a half inches on either side. That is going to be the first pilot hole for the lag that's in the center of the track. Bring out your first track, level that, pilot hole, drill, lag, first track is done, repeat on the second track with a level, pilot hole, put the lag in and now you've got the track. With the door, tilt it slightly up and over the track let it drop into place and then down below you put your door guides in right along the opening on both sides of your opening. If you have any questions feel free to leave comments below. Other than that, congratulations on installing your doors.